This is an orchard owned by Kenya's agricultural farm, Kakuzi. The farm is among those that are targeting emerging consumer markets such as China. The new markets uh, provide a great opportunity for us as a company and even as uh, a country uh, because uh, now you have a diversity in terms of where you can take your produce. Some markets offer um, a better, better prices, so as a company you are able to make a choice. And of course, uh, the fact that of, uh, China, which is an emerging market, eh, has a high population means that you have a, a market which is so hard to satisfy. Taking advantage of Beijing's deeper focus on trade, Kenya struck an export deal with China for fresh avocados in January after years of lobbying for market access. However, no shipments have left the country yet in the last six months, despite 10 avocado exports passing Kenyan inspections. It has taken a while because it has taken more than uh, three weeks because we had to visit uh, all all the orchards that uh, have been earmarked to export to China and we also had to visit uh, the park house to ensure that uh, everything meets the requirement and now also the fumigation facility. On paper, China's growing food needs present a huge opportunity for Africa to leverage agricultural exports to raise foreign exchange. But some countries are struggling to take advantage of the opportunities such as Kenya. Despite the country being one of the largest producers of avocados in Africa, it only exported $154 million worth of goods last year, mainly to Europe. The requirements differ a little bit. Like for EU, we do not uh, require to go and do the orchard uh, inspection. We only do the exit inspection. But now for the Chinese, we need to do the orchard, we need to do the park house, and we need a fumigation facility. For the EU, we only do the exit, uh, the exit um, inspection, and maybe sometimes we only check for the park house to see whether the park house is still maintaining the required standards. Despite Africa having 60% of the world's uncultivated land, experts say countries need to boost exports to China in a bid to rebalance the trade deficits. Najma Abdirizak, CGTN.